thank you for sharing um yeah you know sure. about banjo and your winnings and uh, you know your cowboy life and uh, we know you also have another side to you which we talked uh, we had a zoom about that so let's go ahead and talk about that your, sure. your other life that you have <laughs> you have a yeah. double life <laughs> i do i get the best of both worlds you're you're an amazing songwriter um we're going to talk about this here folks let's see if you can yeah, see look that at you go it's not I, even out yet judy's i she's, have she's in it the i am so spoiled look at that oh my goodness <laughs> the greatest little nice. picture there's a cd you all know what that is it's a cd people that you is need a actually CD. a cd that's right you can download it but buy a cd put it in your car that's the most <laughs> amazing thing get, you know what we can't go anywhere right now so get paul's cd order it it's gonna be out on friday order it it'll come in no time in the following week. thanksgiving weekend take off put it in your car and go for a drive and listen to this amazing cd it will change your life it is so amazing thank oh. you judy thank i appreciate that, that. oh yeah heck yeah I'm, I'm glad you got it that's perfect oh, i'm so excited i've listened to it already four times <laughs> nice well i it's hope great. you're enjoying it. It, it i really am proud of this record it's it's uh it's fun that you know as i mentioned earlier it's it's fun that it is coming out this time of year just because here here I am at one of the world's biggest cowboy parties you know and, and it's so really being able to talk about it and share it with my friends here uh, is is pretty exciting as well but yeah th this Friday won't have far to go is the title of the, of the album it's that's the title track is a tune that I wrote with Shane Miner and Trent Wilman won't have far to go and actually I think I, I was telling you this in our last interview Judy that um, Red Steagall recorded that song about a year ago so just a that's a real feather in my cap you know for a guy like red steagall to record one of my songs um uh, you know as a writer it's it's uh it's an honor anytime you get a song recorded by somebody else yeah. um but for sure whenever 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 he recorded it i was like ah. oh, not only do i want to put that on my on my record I, I i want to title the record that so cow, the song is a cowboy song and it fit real mm -hmm. well on, on red's last last album but, and i think it fits it's like thematic for this album for me so anyway where was the front cover shot it's really great i love it you're walking yeah. down the street with your guitar in your case and yeah. there's some stuff in the, oh my gosh it's just a, it's just awesome we shot that so i was with jenny list and pepper myler and um they were both shooting pictures i honestly don't know which of the two of them took that picture yeah. uh, but jenny and pepper with were with me in uh, franklin <laughs> tennessee okay uh, well and that's actually i say franklin leapers fork tennessee <laughs> so and look at most, the back of look at the back cover folks it's the back of paul's back <laughs> i mean how classic is that it's <laughs> awesome yeah uh, pepper pepper miler she's she was kind of Talented. the brains behind the oh my gosh pepper's great uh, she really is she, she's one of the best and she's been in the in the graphic design business for years and years in the music industry for years and years and um she she put together the whole cover and, and designed it um and it, you know she she would send me her what she's working on and like hey what do you think of this and it's rare that i don't like something that pepper does <laughs> um maybe i can count on one hand that i even question what anything she does uh, but it was I, I think she did a fabulous job oh my goodness and so you co-wrote six of the 10 songs on here didn't you mm -hmm. i did i i did and, and some of them have been released thank you thank you some of them have have been released prior you know as singles prior to this album coming right. out um and you know I felt like all of those songs that we had released, you know, on the, on the DSPs deserved a place on an album. So weaving it together and making it work as a, as a cohesive album. It was, I think I, I write, um, I, I write a lot that that's all under the same brand, you know, um, family and faith and, and cowboy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it, it worked to, to throw them all on the same album. So. Yeah, the first song, uh, When She Gets a Hold on You, is such a, to me, a romantic cowboy song. I mean, yeah. that is like so something that you would would have written. It's great. Sure. I, I really yeah. like it. <laughs> yeah, that was with Trent Wilman and uh, Nicole Witt. Um, That's and they're great. Just great writers. We wrote that song on Trent's back porch one afternoon, and it was 
just one of those days one of those days where you're you, the magic happens you know it makes you excited to be a songwriter oh my goodness and then i'll have to tell you folks mm -hmm. that as soon as you get this cd you're gonna love the third song on here it's called the ballad of exit 199 <laughs> so i have to tell paul folks that ray stevens has to be so proud of him because that's a race Stevens type of song oh, yeah. that you wrote and and who would write a song about taking the wife to the hospital you know <laughs> on that day of having birth sure. no who would do that Paul way to go Paul well, that's the most amazing you. you're genius great well, I, I've got to give credit to you to Bill White Bill is a, <laughs> such a great writer he's a friend of mine longtime <laughs> friend um, he, and just a, a real sharp uh, sharp-minded sharp-witted songwriter he's a, he's actually a, a, a hall of fame dj radio dj oh, and he no. he writes comedy stuff oh it's great so when i told him this story he was like oh we have to write this song and i said i'm in let's let's do it so it the real quick the backstory my our second son ace who is now two years old was born in our car on the way to the hospital so i this is the 30 excuse me the three minute version true story of how ace bogart uh entered the world and my wife delivered him all by herself right there in the front seat of the car i drove i never slowed down <laughs> and we we got to the hospital and he he rode with us in the car uh, god forbid out of a, out of his car seat um for i don't know we were we were 10 miles away from the hospital um at 100 miles an hour no less uh whenever he was born and i thought you know bill and i were talking i was like this is we can so make this a song and so it was i feel like the the tune and how we wrote it was a mixture between like roger miller and ray stevens right exactly. which i'm a huge fan of both of them Me um too. <laughs> when when ray stevens op when he opened his uh cabaret venue in <laughs> in nashville uh, I was able to go to the red carpet event and, and oh, be there for the opening fun. night. And I'm just, again, I'm just a fan of, of Ray and Roger Miller. He's an, he's an Okie, you know, he, yeah, I think he, he was amazing. Remember, oh my God. Gone gosh, too soon. What, gone what too a, soon. No doubt. But that was, that was our <laughs> I, idea and, and how we came about with, you know, the, the tune of that, that song. So you I have think to release fitting. that as a single. I'm telling you, you know, I'm sure that I'm sure that we probably <laughs> will. Um, Zach and, you know, it, what do you do with that kind of song? It's it's just it's, it's too much fun for right now. We need and, that. I know, I know, I know. Well, you're right. You're we do right. need that. Yeah, <laughs> that is a great one. Oh yeah, my goodness! Thank you. And then then the number four song is "Mothers and Son." Oh, I'm a mom. I have a son. For all of us that have sons, like your mother, it's it's an amazing song too. Touches your thank heart. Thank you. Yeah, that was one with with Dan Wilson and Cassidy Lynn, and us having two two little boys. Um, Cassidy had just had a son. It was, it, you know, it, writing that song is your, your whole, your, your, it's, it's a goosebumpy kind of song whenever you're writing something like that that's so close to home. And, and, uh, what was interesting was, uh, so Abbott, Cassidy's little boy, at the time when we wrote it was just a couple months old. Wow. Um, so we wrote at her house and, you know, he's, he's right there on the, I think she had him in the little pack and play thing in the room with us. Uh, and my boys were just down the road with, with Tanya, you know, so it's just sweet song. And uh, I think we released that song last year on mother's day as a, as a single. Uh, so anyway, yeah. good times. And I didn't mean to skip over number two, which is ain't no sunshine because we talked about that mm. in our last zoom and, and that's, sure. that's an amazing Bill Withers song and your cover yeah. of it was phenomenal. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it, Judy. Really, I am. It, it, that's. I realize it's a little out of uh, the the norm for my music, but that that's the kind of music that was part of the playlist of my childhood. You know, mm -hmm. um, so making that song work for me as an artist. I mean, I would never have dreamt that 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 I would have released that song as one of my own songs you know yeah but it, whenever we started talking about it and the band played it it was just like that that turned out where it still fits uh, my brand as and hopefully it was close enough to the bill withers version that we were paying tribute to him and, and oh. honoring him and his music 
certainly. And the number 10 song, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I mean, that, wow, you two, huh? how'd you come up with that yeah, one? Man, so Zach Farnham, my manager, he, he yeah. asked if I would consider that song. And at first I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> I can't do a U2 song. song right? um, so he he uh, he actually sent me the Bobby Bear version of that song, and then it finally kind of oh. kind of clicked for me. Um, and I was like, oh, this is and it, it is. It's a great contemplative song, mm -hmm. um, and everybody. I like the more I looked into it, there so many people have recorded that song. Cher has recorded that song, um, <clears throat> but wow. I thought we, after after you know rolling around ideas in my mind about how to go about uh, making it work for me and and i got together with nick palmer who's my guitar player in the band <clears throat> and he has been for i don't know seven or eight years now uh we just kicked around like production ideas and and i thought i thought it really worked i, I i'm glad to have, to have included that song on the album for sure yeah i was just like <gasps> Oh my gosh, I know that song. Wow, yeah, no way. Yeah. It's, it's great. Yeah, you, you did an amazing job on that one. Thanks. Let's see, Thank Never you. Grow Out of It. Let's talk about that song. Where'd that come that's, from? That's another one that's... Morning, how are you? <laughs> that's, a, that's another one that we... I wrote, let's see, Never Grow Out of It. So that was Tommy Carlos. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Carlos was, was scheduled to write with Dan Wilson and Cassidy Lynn, who I, I write with regularly so i don't know if they were double booked that day but i was on there i was on the, we were on the schedule to write and then tommy was also on the schedule to write so we all got together and everybody was like huh wait this is this is kind of a room full um and we thought well let's just write that's fine we, no, nobody needs to leave but i had never i had met tommy once before but i'd sure never written with him and um and I just thought the song turned out great. I, I, and I look forward to hopefully getting to write with <laughs> that same crew again soon. And who uh, else was on it? Dan? Mm -hmm. Dan, is on Dan Wilson. Too? Yeah. Yeah. Dan great. and Cassidy. Um, they're, they're both on it. And Dan, just a little shout out to them. He's in a band called Mama Deer. And I don't oh. know if you, if you, if you know them or not, Judy, no. check them out. They're great. They really like are it. great. Um, just shout out to, Dan Wilson and his band Mama Deer that truly the three part harmony is through the roof. Uh, wow. They're they're a hard hard working bunch. And I'm just a, a huge fan of of Dan and his his music and that and their band. So yeah, check them out. Oh my goodness. And then another one you wrote is I Won't Have Far to Go. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's so that that's one. the the Red Seagull Okay. Red Seagull tune that the the title track that you know I was talking about. Right. It, it, it just it was a neat deal to have have read record that song and which is why i added it to the mix and um, why that, i shouldn't the name of I the album which is classic sure sure i, I shouldn't sorry banjo's getting a little bit antsy no go we'll ahead her around here. that's fine we're, we like that uh, it's like we're we're riding with you <laughs> great <laughs> sure uh, no but not that far to go it, it's just and not to not to wear that out but it really is it's a feather in my cap that that red recorded it I love mm -hmm. the tune because, you know, Shane Miner and Trip Woman and I wrote it and it's just a, it's a neat cowboy song. Mm -hmm. and I'm thankful to have, have a song that Red would record and, and I knew that I wanted to record it, but after, after it was added, added to a, an icon like that, or, or at least an icon in the cowboy music, in the cowboy yeah. poetry world, I thought I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, that's what I'm going to call my album. That's good. Yeah. So what about um, song number seven, When It Swings? Oh, goodness. So that song is a... Uh, <laughs> George Strait. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a straight up Western swing song. Um, I, got, I got the idea from a friend of mine years ago and um, wound up finishing the song with, with Brett Beavers and Jim Beavers. And if you're not sure familiar with them, they're huge writers in town. And Jim and Brett write lots of big, they've written lo loads of big hits. And right. produce, you know, Brett has produced Dirk Bentley, uh, lots of his records. Um, they wrote Red Solo Cup, just as almost yeah. like a comical. But these guys are hilarious. Jim and Brett are hilarious. 
Um, so the idea lends itself to just a funny, kind of a funny comical type of song. And, and, and they're both Texas guys. I mean, they grew up in Texas, so they get Western swing. Um, and not everybody does, you know, not, not, you can't just write a Western swing song with, with anybody, but those guys get it. Um, they're good friends. Jim, I've been a huge fan of Jim and Brett for a long time. So oh my goodness. To get to write with him and, and write a cool tune. I was, I was thrilled to have that one on the, on the album. Yeah. Well, as we said, the, the album's going to be released. Here it is on Friday. And how can they get your album, Paul? So, I mean, if, if you are, if you are a, uh, a hard copy album, you know, if you're a, put a CD in your truck on the way to work type of, <laughs> type of guy or gal, um, it, I know that it will be on the, my website store. It's just paulbogart.com, and you can search for the store or the shop or whatever the link is called. <clears throat> and we, we will actually mail, mail you a copy. Um, or, I don't know, right now, so The Orchard is distributing the, the album and I know they're they're distributing it all th- you know on all the DSPs, Spotify, Apple Music, and Pandora, and everything else. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they are distributing hard copies or if it's just if they're just distributing it digitally. But, um, regardless, if you do want a hard copy, you can order it on the website. Sounds good, and I'm yeah. sure they can download it on all the other. Oh yeah. Uh, ways streaming ways they everyone else does it right oh yeah oh yeah it'll be out i think it's actually thursday night maybe when it comes out so yeah get your hands on it get get it in your ear holes <laughs> now with the pandemic still going on and you know numbers are rising again it, will you be able to be touring at all uh, the rest of the year anywhere <laughs> man your Probably guess not, miss huh? judy is as good as mine uh, we are playing at the national finals rodeo uh, they've moved the rodeo from Las Vegas to, uh, let's see, Arlington, Texas. Oh, they did? So we're playing. Oh. They did, yeah. Just, wow, that's a I big thing. I don't exactly know. It is. It's, I mean, it's been in Las Vegas Huge. for, I don't know, Forever. how many years. Years yeah. and years and years. Always going up um, there. Right. Yeah. But they moved it down to uh, down to Arlington. And again, I'm not, I have no idea all the ins and outs of that. But yeah. okay. um, we were originally booked to go play in Las Vegas um, for the during the rodeo this year and i just thought along with most of my other shows that it, it would be the trip yeah. would be canceled uh, but we got a call from the client the pro rodeo hall of fame and they said hey we're still going to do it and uh, we want to do it at billy bob's and they're the main sponsor the, the, of the of the sh- one of the shows that i'm playing okay um so that'll be at billy bob's down in fort worth i, I can't wait I've never, I've never gotten to play it at Billy Bob's, Texas. Oh, it's a so great place to go visit. I've been there oh, yeah, many been, times. Been yeah. there, been there. I've never played, huh? Times, but never played there. So excited about that. I'm, I'm playing another show with with Shane Miner. They're calling it the Cowboy Revival. Um, nice. It's just kind of yeah, it's country, straight up country music. Um, oh. Shane is a is a is an old school '90s country kind of guy, and he asked if I'd be a part of the be a part of the event. So heck yeah love that so, nice so. wow so, so i i read too uh in november 30th that you're gonna be performing at the pro rodeo hall of fames Ring well, so that, is that happening still that at is, billy bob's yes that's the one at billy bob's so okay uh, that's the, it. the pro rodeo is hall of fame that's the that's the i don't know if you want to call them the sponsor or the host of the event okay so, so that's where it's and at. that's you know the nfr is the biggest cowboy party on the planet <laughs> and it's 10 days in a row. And this year, like I say, it's Ooh. in Arlington. So right. um, we're excited about that. I'm, I'm thankful because we'll play. I think that that I forget the schedule right now, but Saturday night, we're going to play at the Hard Rock uh, in Tulsa. And we'll go from, from Tulsa down to Dallas. Oh, the Fort Hard Worth. Rock. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. nice over there. So, Tulsa. You know, deal. It, it is. Yeah. It really is great. It's a, there's a, I think the venue we're booked in is called Track Five. Uh, great venue. We played it. We played it a few times before, and it's probably a two thousand seat venue. And I don't know. Again, I don't know really how they're going to have it all spread out right. to social distance and all that. But you can yeah. rest assured. I mean, it's a it's a Cherokee <laughs> casino property, and they are they are playing by the rules. Oh so, yeah, definitely. Uh, if if folks want to come out if you're in the in the neighborhood, 
I'm sure they'll have things socially distanced and as safe as it can, as safe as it I, can be. The Hollywood Times actually has a writer out there in Oklahoma City. And her really? name is Patty. I think I'm going to see, maybe you can hook, hook me up with someone. I'd like to get her For out sure. there yeah, and come and so, interview you in person. And she always sure. covers stuff up there. So we'll, well see if we can get that going. 100 miles up the road from Oklahoma City. It's not far yep. at all. And, and uh, would, I'd love to get her get her in the venue and, and uh, let, her, let her see the yeah. show. It'd be, be really we'll great. We'll talk yeah, about that with maybe yeah, Zach or something. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. Sure. So we can have a, you know, she, at least through her, we can get to meet you in person. Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> bet. That'd be great. You bet. Awesome. I'll check with her. So any last words for us, Paul, there on your, uh, on banjo? Well, <laughs> well, Judy, as always, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you for Thanks. supporting my music and telling telling fans about it and uh, introducing me to more folks so it's it's from people like you that were that you know just keep everything rolling and i'm grateful so thank you all right no problem you think thanks again i'm glad that you're there in the arena and it worked out and it's great to yeah. see you in your uh in your other life other than your country music <laughs> you bet listen you i can't wait for the next conversation and uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll talk soon okay all right. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks. See you.